This one's a bit heavier. And this one is the heaviest. Okay, let's just open all the packages first. I don't need scissors for Amazon Prime packages. And here's the smallest object so far. Ugh. I'm trying to show it to two cameras at the same time. I can't tell if the stream is good or not. Here's the one terabyte SSD from Newegg. This is the power supply. And of course I took take paper and cross out everything so I don't leak my address on stream. Unboxing, I need a knife. Knives are better than scissors. Murder time. I'm gonna have fun cleaning up. And the order receipt thing, I don't want to show you that. Power supply, woohoo. I'm not gonna show everything like detailed, I'm, I don't want to take too long because the part list is in the description so you can just view it there. I'm gonna cut myself. And here's the MSIB 450 Tomahawk Max. Out of the way box. Next box. The reason I'm streaming is because I paid too much for this and I've never built a PC before so I'll stream my first time. Is it gonna replace my MacBook? I don't think so yet. I kind of want to keep both. This box has a CPU, GPU, and RAM. Oh look, it's the RAM. And this is the CPU sticks. I'm so smart. And lastly, the largest box. Hey, it's the case. I don't know if the tempered glass is going to be cracked or not, but we'll see. And if it does, then I get to complain to the shipping services and Amazon. I sure love knives. Okay, now how do I take this out? Because I've never opened this thing before. Upside down. Look at all the empty boxes. Would you like some shapes? Oh my god, I gotta redo, restart the camera. And no, the glass didn't break, thankfully, so I don't have to complain to Amazon. Hmm, this thing comes off. And here's the amazing unboxing of the motherboard. Wow, I can't wait to spill water all over it. Is there anything else in the box before I get to the motherboard? A DVD for drivers, but I, don't, I didn't buy an optical drive. A sticker, the panel for ports, and some manual. I might need this because I've never built a PC in general before. So I'll just put the case aside for a bit. I'm trying to show it to two cameras at the same time. Don't want to drop it. I also don't want to touch the, all the components. <sighs> Proceeds to drop it. Wow, how beautiful. Now let me just take a water bottle and whoop. Why am I doing this? Because eventually in quarantine, I got bored and decided I just woke up one day and was like, hey, I want to build a gaming PC. So, yeah. And I also had some extra money on me, so I decided to do that. It's time for some water cooling. Unboxing with my dull AF knife. Time to drop it and touch the pins. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. Okay, I'll leave this here. What else is in the box? There's some styrofoam in here. Important, please read. I'll just show it. What does it say? This box contains a CPU. Whoa, cool. A CPU cooler. Cooler. I'll leave this right here next to the camera. Do you have thermal paste? I don't think I do. I'm pretty sure I forgot that. Unless it's not necessary. So first I need to open the CPU socket. My camera's probably overheating. Putting in the CPU. Close. Okay, CPU is installed. The cooler comes with thermal paste. Well, that's good to know. I'm not an expert, so I thank you guys for helping me. Because everyone starts somewhere, right? Oh my god, people just love spamming. I guess people are messaging me on Discord now to, <laughs> to help me. Because 
people, there's too much things going on in, on the stream chat that I can't see. Take off the silver screws. I forgot to get a screwdriver. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have my super handy screwdriver. I am a fan of you. That doesn't sound creepy at all. Hopefully you're just a little kid and not some 40 year old man looking for 15 year olds on YouTube. F CPU cooler. I think it goes on this way. Okay, yeah, I was, I was doing it right. It still feels like I'm doing it wrong. My camera is probably overheating. I'll stop it. CPU cooler. Some amazing RAM unboxing. Two modules of 8 gigabytes. So it's 16 gigabytes of RAM. Trying to avoid touching the pins. And now to shove it in. And I'll put it in the slot where it has the word first because I know about that. This video is going to be a pain to edit. Do I just have to push up the IO shield until it snaps in place? Okay, so yeah, that, that was a yes. Thanks for the answer. I have to line it up this way. I don't think I have any standoff screws or it, this didn't come with any standoff screws. Introducing the $1,000 Tetris machine. Get it right, it's the 1200 Okay, here's the other panel. Okay, yeah, I found it. More screws. Uh, I don't think there's any standoff screws though. Oh, there are. I guess I'll just have to take off the motherboard again. Because I need to put in standoff screws. I feel like my camera is going to run out of battery. And I also don't have an extra battery, so that sucks. Okay, so I put in the eight standoffs. Okay, so now do I put the motherboard in? Okay, I get it. <laughs> Hopefully it lined up all the standoffs correctly. Okay, now to screw them all in. And my camera is on 50% battery. <laughs> I dropped the screw, but that's fine because I found it. This will take a while because I need to screw all of them in. Oh my god, this screw won't get in the hole. This video, this live stream is very advertiser friendly. The power supply. I'm gonna have fun cleaning this up. And here it is. Some foam that smells like Chinese factory. Woohoo, time to drop this on someone's head. And I'll make sure I'll save this for later so I can eat it. Oh boy, what did my mommy pack for lunch today? I'm at home alone just talking to two cameras. As if one wasn't enough. Ugh. Oh my god, my feet hurt from sitting like that for so long. Now I need to remove these screws. Screwing in the SSD. SSD. Now mount it in here and screw SATA cable into the SSD SATA cable into the motherboard SATA power cable into the power supply I need a better camera angle, oh my god this is so stressful This is so hot How do I shove this in? This goes in there Okay, plugged in the cable for the SATA and the CPU as well but I did that off camera because I kind of forgot This cable goes in here and this cable goes in here. This cable goes in there. These cables go in here. This is gonna take a while. That took forever, and it still feels like this cable's not in all the way. That's the most I can get it to go in. It won't go in any further. Audio cable. So I need to plug these five connectors to, to this slot. I also need to follow this chart right here, match them up with these labels on the connectors it would have been easier if all of them were in one cable instead of separate pretty sure it's like this for a reason and that one pin right there is supposed to be reserved case fan number one and case fan number two not the best looking cable management i'll fix that in a bit unboxing the graphics card and here's the envelope thing and that's a fish so it's Spongebob, because Spongebob is a fish. And here's the actual graphics card. And in here, it's just a quick start guide. Gigabyte qualified. Ooh. Oh no, it looks like one of these parts on the heatsink is bent. It only looks like two pieces though, so I think I could bend it back straight. 
That's disappointing, considering I paid $500 for this GPU. Satisfying. It looks like knives. Okay, installed. Now I need to screw them in. Okay, now I need to link it to the power supply using these two. GPU installed. Now to screw it back in, I have to do this off camera because I have to use both of my hands. All good now. Plugging in the HDMI. Now watch it explode. <laughs> it's the moment of truth, guys. Actually not yet because I haven't turned it on yet. Plugging it in. Turning it on. Putting the glass and the screws back on. You guys want ASMR? Forgot to turn on the power supply. Yay. Will it work? It's also really loud for some reason. So I was trying to get dark mode for Windows in the settings and it told me to activate Windows. I checked my Discord DMs after a while and someone gave me a... Oh, there's dark mode. Someone gave me a Windows product key. Shoutouts to Hyper Anime Boy. Thanks to you for saving me like $12. Shoutouts to everyone who gave me a super chat on the stream. Anime 44, Harrison Carter, Dev, Broken, Sonic, and Daniel Engberg. Hopefully I said all your names right. If not, then um, I'm sorry. Just downloading all of the drivers first. This will take a while. Well, I just ended the stream and I forgot to take off the plastic on the front as well. So I'm gonna do that now. Also, I, I don't know how to get the fans to stop running at max speed. I'll figure that out later. This is not satisfying, it keeps on breaking. Honestly, this part right here looks kind of ugly. It doesn't match with the front. It would be better if they put it like on the side or the back or something. The next day. And now to clean all of this up. I just noticed that I forgot to open this package, which is extra fans. So I'll install them now. Unboxing time. Also, I'm running out of SD card space, so I'll just do this. I think I'm done installing the fans now. That took way too long because I had to, I was, I put in the fans, I plugged everything in, and then I realized I installed it all backwards because I didn't know that they had arrows on them indicating where the airflow went. And then I also had to set up the RGB and all that. But we're done now. That took two and a half hours. Three, two, one. So I have three of the extra fans on the front and back and two of the case fans on the top. Turns out I was using a broken HDMI cable. Let's try again. I found out that the noise was coming from the GPU and that's probably because I didn't install the drivers yet. That's probably why it's so loud. I'll go ahead and do that now. Drivers installing. Almost done. Time remaining. Eight minutes. I'll just stop the camera. The screen turned off for a bit and now uh, the fans aren't as loud anymore. It's loud again. I think it was... Yeah, I was right. I was gonna say it's gonna stop getting loud after it boots up. Woohoo, that problem is fixed. Oh, and the audio drivers work now. And my neighbor's mowing the lawn again after two days. What does he have to do so often? And also, ew, 59 FPS. This is a 144 hertz monitor. Let's turn 120. Is it because I'm using HDMI and not display ports? Okay, sure, I'll stick with 120 for now. Alright, I'm gonna screw the glass back in. I still need to figure out how to change the RGB on the fans. The software doesn't want to show the fans, so I don't know how to change it. And now to put it under here. When I bought my desk, it came with this thing for you to support a computer, but I didn't have one until now. And I guess I'll put it on this so it could be propped up a little bit for a bit more airflow. Okay, yeah, this is not working. 
I mean, like, I don't think it would hurt to put the computer in on the carpet, but with this thing propping it up, this dumb and cheap little thing, it's gonna prop up my $1,200 setup. Super amazing decision, right? Ugh, it sticks out a bit, I don't like that. I suppose I could remove this thing. Finally! That took so long. I over tightened these screws. Found another HDMI cable, cause my other one was broken. Ugh. It's 10 feet, I don't need it to be 10 feet. This is annoying. And yay, it works. And yay, now I have way too many of these cable twist ties. I also have a bunch more here. These are those little things you can get at the grocery store. You just pull them and they, they work the exact same way. So now I have way too many of them. I won't need these. I want to keep these boxes, but at the same time, I don't know where to put them. I'll put them here, next to this Nintendo Switch Deluxe Box thing that looks like a lunchbox. It was on sale, so I decided to get it, but I don't travel anymore. There. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Well, maybe I should take out the trash can. Okay, never mind. That hides the messy cables behind it. Either way, I'm proud of my purchase. I think I decided to spend too much on it. I mean, I could have spent more if I wanted to. And that's the final setup or cleanup. I'll get rid of all this cardboard later, but I'm pretty sure you don't care enough to see that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. I'm tired, and bye.